this is indoor skydancing, or better known as indoor skydiving. The main difference between the two terms is, indoor skydancing is the art of choreographed flying to music, so both the person in the wind tunnel and the people watching can hear the music. Now you might think that is a small difference, well apparently it's not. Lisa Hernandez first came up with the idea to perform new music in 2013, and it wasn't until the 2016 Wind Games competition that the music could be included as part of the routine. But I'm not here to give you a history lesson on the birth of skydancing. I came across a video of skydancing while surfing YouTube, and I was captivated with what I saw. I have grown up from the 70s thinking indoor skydiving was wearing baggy parachute outfits that captured the wind and allowed you to float in the air doing spins and somersaults. But then I saw this video of a girl doing an amazing dance routine to music with a mix of ballet, somersaults, twists, splits and what I can only call is mine where she pretends to walk up a wall upside down. I personally have never seen this style of indoor skydiving before. And what really blew me away even more was the skin tight outfit she was wearing. Whatever happened to wearing baggy suits to capture the wind? Well I was told, as a beginner you start off wearing the very baggy suits to make it easy to float in the air. And as you progress and learn different ways to fly and how wind pushes you around, you eventually wear tighter suits which makes you faster and more slippery in the wind. Now I have no doubt this technology and wind generation has advanced over the last 30 years. But I was curious, just how powerful are the winds? So I called the indoor skydiving center in the city where I live, and they told me the wind in the chamber can reach speeds of up to 173 miles or 280 kilometers per hour. And just to give you a comparison, a typical strong tornado has winds from 110 to 200 miles per hour. So you probably want to know like I did, how do they generate the wind? Well, the indoor skydiving center in my city has high efficiency fans in the ceiling and they circulate wind down the walls, under the floor and up into the wind chamber. But this is just one of many different wind chamber designs. But what I really wanted to show you was the performance that captivated me when I came across it. The girl you have been watching throughout this video is Maya Kaczynska from Poland, who was only 10 years old when she did her first skydive and at the age of 17 became the first junior indoor skydiving world champion in 2015. This kind of indoor skydiving is a far cry from what I remember years ago, which is some guy in a baggy parachute outfit, hovering awkwardly in the air and being held in place by some instructor in a less baggy outfit. But like I said, the technology in sport has come a long way since I was a kid. To give you an idea how far the sport has come in recent years, I came across a company who made the world's biggest, most powerful open air wind tunnel in the world with the purpose to allow small groups of up to seven people to practice skydiving routines together on the ground. But as amazing as that machine is, it does not compare to the captivating and amazing indoor skydancing routines of Maya Kaczynska. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.